It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Hey, I got to pull up the logos of the manufacturer of the Document Imaging Channel. You know, I've had some fun talking about how some of this could consolidate because we know these folks have to consolidate. Last couple of videos, I've been talking a lot about Xerox and Konica. Phenomenal synergies with this, folks. Can you imagine? Konica, you just make the machines. Xerox, you sell, supply, and service them. Boy, I think there could be so much synergies with that. Think about the cost cutting that would go on there. And then, you know, we all know Xerox is pretty bold in their leadership, so maybe they could drive the bus a little bit different in some of the diversifications that Konica has made over the years. But there's another one I want to talk about, and it's Epson. I think Epson and HP ought to get together, and I'm putting these folks together based on delusion. Their delusion, not mine. In other words, I saw an advertisement for Epson in a magazine, and it's this big, giant A3 copy machine. I'm looking at myself, what in the world are they doing? Why are they making an A3 printer copier? What in the world are they doing? Why don't they just stick with A4? The whole world's going to A4. But see, they're just like HP. They believe if we go to market and tell everybody we make all these A3 machines, the BTA channel, the dealers, the dealer network around the world will take us on as a manufacturer because it'll allow them to oversell and overspec because the whole world thinks about A3, A3, A3. That's all I think about even though the whole world's going to A4. Kind of nutty, but it is going on. But ladies and gentlemen, here's what I think. I think this is where we're headed as an industry. I think we're headed to Sears and Kmart. Sears and Kmart, two completely outdated, dysfunctional organizations coming together, created one big, giant, dysfunctional organization with outdated processes, and they couldn't see past what was in front of them. They used their memories to create their visions, and I say to everybody in the Document Imaging Channel, WTF, and I say it that way because I can't say the F word on the end of the day with Ray, even though sometimes I wish I could. Why are we not learning from this total disaster? Folks, the only way it makes sense for manufacturers to come together is if they can cut tremendous amounts of cost out of the deliverable while they collect the revenue. And while they're collecting the revenue, they have to diversify into other products and other services to offset the losses from the 85, 90% of their customers that are going to continue to decline in their need for print. They're going to continue to not believe it as valuable as it was before the pandemic. All these things are in play. So I'm suggesting this today, folks. Why doesn't the Document Imaging Channel manufacturers start calling people like Zoom? Think about that. Could you imagine if one of these manufacturers got in the boardroom of Zoom and said, I have hundreds of thousands of customers all over the world. My core deliverable of print is declining rapidly. I'm not going to do managed print services in their houses. That's kind of a commodity. But if I could do something in their houses that could give them some value, maybe they'll just buy that commodity from me and I'll set up a system to sell them that commodity. The easiest and cheapest way that I can. But we know they got to tell a conference. And I'm thinking, as this global manufacturer, if I got together with Zoom, maybe we could create something special for my hundreds of thousands of customers. Folks, that's how things start. It starts when you start talking to different people. It starts when you look past what the hell's in front of you. The Document Energy Channel, whether you're a dealer or whether you're a manufacturer, you've got to start looking into a world where your core deliverable doesn't pay the bills. And quite honestly, if you look at the financials we're seeing, it's not paying the bills now. And the question is, what are we going to do different? We get into IT services and then we have a print-centric mindset, a print-centric process is trying to deliver it. It fails miserably. We're getting into IT and technology services, but we're failing miserably because we're setting these services and platforms up to deliver through a print, a print channel business model. It was built in the 1990s, in the year 2000, and is irrelevant today. Remember when I talked about the Hertz, the Hertz fiasco? They lost 85, 90% of their customers to the rideshare community. They couldn't live off the fringes. Ladies and gentlemen, if we don't stop trying to figure out how to deliver enterprise deliverables in people's damn houses, and if we don't stop trying to figure out how print's going to be around forever and whatever we diversify into, it has to be able to make us print more. We're never going to win. People will print. 
Consolidation will allow us to raise the prices of print and its services. That will happen. But the bottom line, folks, the customers that use print equipment, the customers that 85, 90% of these customers that you made great livings off of are changing the way they do business. They're changing their processes. We don't need to start figuring out how we're going to sell Dockware and Square 9 into 85% of our customers. We know how to sell enterprise customers. We need to figure out how do we do something with a company like Box that's unique for that 85 or 90% of our customers. And we don't need to figure out how to bring on technology partners only so we can sell more print. We have to figure out how do we bring on more technology partners so we can add revenue and profits to our bottom line and make our shareholders happy. That's what we need to figure out. And ladies and gentlemen, if we don't start talking to different people, if we don't start looking past what's in front of us, even around the corner, and if we don't stop looking in the rearview mirror and using our memories to create our visions, well, you know what? We're just going to end up like these folks. And we're all going to be saying, WTF. WTF happened. Well, if that happens, well, guess what? It's the industry's fault. I want to end this the way I always do. Status quo is the killer of all it'll be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all tomorrow.